This morning we're going to show you how to fit a Extreme Air Guns power plenum to your rifle. Uh, we're getting a lot of requests when the guys want to purchase it as to how to, how to fit these power plenums. Um, so we're just going to go through the basic video of putting it in. We're not going to do other mods and stuff to it. It's just showing you how to take it apart and put it in for those who don't know. Um, so what the first thing is we're going to do is we're going to depressurize the tube. I see this one's got a little flat screwdriver that you can use. And then just wait until it's completely empty and then you can carry on. You'll probably start loosening these allen cap screws here. Get that off, just loosen it. Loosen up your cocking lever. And then you just bend it away a little bit. There we go. Um, then we will loosen this little screw for your barrel. And to move your barrel. one side. In the meantime, while it's still emptying, this is now loose. Then we'll take out the grab screws on the trigger and on the support here. So this is what I prefer to do instead. Okay, then this tube can go all the way back. And you should be able to remove the old tube out of your rifle like that. Put that one side. Just make sure that it's completely empty. Loosen this. A little bit more air coming out. And please remember to retighten that after you have worked on the rifle. Otherwise you're going to battle to remove or to fill it. Normally we'll tighten it up again. Just finger tight, don't over tighten it. This then got moving out. We're very fortunate that this one is actually coming off like this. Let's hope that the regulator comes out along with it. Normally the regulator stays behind and we have to try and knock it out. Oh, we are very lucky today that it's actually come out with that. See, it's very tight, this one, so we're going to have to use two spanners to get it apart. Here we go. Now loose. So we will be removing it from there. Just check that there's a little o-ring in there. It needs to go back onto the regulator. And use that little o-ring. If you want to increase your regulator pressure anti-clockwise, it will increase the pressure. Clockwise, it will be increase or decrease the pressure. So I wasn't going to leave this one as is for now. This is just for demonstration purposes. Um, then we will be fitting it back into the new power plenum. Make sure that the O-rings are going in properly. Do not cook it. I normally just hand tighten them. Okay. Then also remember to fit the O-ring that's in the pack, a 21 by 1.5 O-ring, to this side of the the cylinder tube end cap that goes into your block. Put a little bit of lubrication but very little onto the o-ring. Just a little bit like that. Don't put too much on. Remember to put this o-ring in otherwise the gun will never work properly. Now that there, 
you can also then close this up. And that's it, that's complete. So now all you have to do, I would just lubricate these O-rings a little bit again. With a little bit of, we use uh, red rubber grease and we fit it back in. It is quite a stuck fit through, through the threads. There you go. And then just tighten it up. And hand tighten it, please don't try and over tighten it, you don't have to over tight in this part just like that That's all you need because um, we would remove this o-ring these o-rings of Artemis actually expands so you will not be able to get it back into its place you would normally replace it with a 14 by 2 millimeter o-ring and um, assemble the the block again there we go make sure that it goes in nice and proper that's it and then we can go back and just reassemble the rifle put the barrel in first before we tighten that up. Let's just fit the barrel. The barrel is going to be short as well. So we need to extend this forward. And then fit your barrel. Make sure that you line up your port. And just tighten the fluid screw up. Place. So just tighten these two screws up. And then what we do normally is we add a silencer to it or we can bring this back. We would just um, 
normally we would just remove the baffles on the inside. So we would remove these baffles for the silencer section because they are going to stuff you around a little bit. A new silencer cap with a silencer half inch in a thread. If we add a silencer to the rifle to make it quieter. So that gets you fitted. And then you can adjust your tree your barrel as to where you want it to sit in conjunction with your fitting probe or cylinder. and that's it now you can go fill it and see if it uh, leaks thank you for watching the video